Hey, welcome back sixth grade. Uh, Mr. Kennersley said the hands that uh, we were working on for his class are turning out great. They are hanging up in the hall by his room and I can't wait to take some pictures and post them on social media. So make sure you're checking for that a little later this week. Uh, we're gonna work on what's called the NOTAN today. It's uh, N-O-T-A-N and we're going to need uh, a pencil. Gotta make sure you got a pencil. We're looking at about a four inch by four inch or four and a half inch by four and a half inch square. Right, uh, a piece of paper so that we can do our drawing on, and uh, some scissors. Make sure you got some scissors. Probably a ruler. If you need a ruler to measure out uh, those lines, you could also use the ruler in the design as well. Um, but those are the things we need today. And all right, sixth grade, we're going to get started here. So um, I'm going to do my sketch inside the sketchbook here. But you can do it on a piece of paper. And so I have my four and a half inch by four and a half inch square. All right, so that should be four and a half by four and a half. It could be four by four. I wouldn't get any smaller. I probably wouldn't get any bigger um, because if, if we want to fit it on the page nicely. So what we're doing is we're working on our no tan. Okay, so that's a nice combination of white and dark. Uh, we're actually going to add a little color to this design. It's uh, this is a form of Japanese art. So we have. Uh, an area on each side so we're going to just stick with the four sides you can get a little complex in these if you ever uh, web search some of these they are pretty nice uh, we're going to keep ours pretty simple so really we're working from corner to corner here and we're going to do just a nice uh, shape drawing so something that and we don't have to be right on the corner we can be off a little bit so we can have something as simple as that okay but we want to just kind of stay along this line because we're going to do four of them. We're going to do one here, we're going to do one here, we're going to do one here. In fact, I've already drawn some in, okay? And so you can see that I've come off of the edge and it's just an abstract drawing. We don't need it to uh, um, be anything in particular for this, all right? So we've got a nice line drawing here. Uh, and they have filled the space so I don't have any large gaps of where the paper would be. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and carefully, I'm going to start cutting out all along the line. Don't just hack away at it because we need this to be a solid piece. All right? So I've already done that. Let's see how well those show, show up. So I've cut those out. And what's nice about this is if you have, let me see if I got one of my, all right, so there's that piece. I'm going to place that in there. And then I've got some other pieces here. So we've got this one right here. Try to place them back in their spot. That one's there. That one's there. All right. And I've got this one right here. And I've got a piece there. So when you're all done with this, we usually do this in paper, but when we're all done with it, they should all go back right into one another to make that original square. So we could still have that square in there. Now what's nice is uh, on some of these I had a larger space. And so I went in with another design. So you can see right here, I went in with another design inside of that. And you can kind of get away with that on some of these. This one's a little too small. I probably could have done something thin, I suppose. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave that one the way it is. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to take these and we're going to flip them outward. All right. And we got to be careful that we, we want to make sure that we stay on the page. So what I mean by that is if I'm going to open this up. So this one, well, I'm afraid that it's going to run into the binding and it might run off of the page on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to a little bit of an angle so that it's more of a diamond shape. So I'll have the square down on this side. And then I just have to look to see when I open these up if they are going to uh, be able to fit on the page. I'm, I, I want to make sure this one stays on there. I want to make sure this one doesn't run into the binding. Um, so I'm going to check those out as I'm, as I'm opening them up. Now if you have something that has a space in it, like this one here, okay, you want to make sure that when you open this up, all right, we're not we're not picking it up. I had it going on. We're not picking it up and turning it around like I just did, all right? Because that's going to be the opposite direction that we want. We want to open it so that it kind of mirrors image, mirror image of it. And so I'm going to open this up this way. 
But if I've got something in here, I want to open it so that it goes back in the other direction. All right, so these three here are going to open up. All right. So this one's going to go out. And then this one is going to come back in. Let me make sure I got that right. Come back in like so. So we should have a nice design like that. And then this larger one is the one I'm concerned about. And it looks like it's going to stay on the page. And that one's going to go back in that direction. So the reason I'm doing this, and it's kind of awkward, they're kind of bending all over the place, but I just want to make sure that it fits on my space available here. And it looks like it's going to. So my next thing is I'm going to start tracing these so that they're put down and they don't move anymore on me. So when I trace them, uh, I'm going to start with the bigger square, and I can even move these off to the side. All right, so I'm going to slide these all out because I know that this is all going to fit. And I held this down when I did that. Did you see that? I slid those out. And so then I'm going to go in and start tracing, carefully holding this down. I don't want these things sliding around and moving around on me. I've got to keep them nice and still. But once I get this traced, then I will go around and I will line this one back up. And I want to make sure that when I'm lining it back up, that it touches where it's supposed to, where it's supposed to connect. All right, I don't want it floating off of the side here. Let's see if I can get that to come in a little bit clearer. There we go. I don't want this floating out in here. It has to be connected to the no tan here. So those spaces right there and there. So I'm going to trace that. I also want to trace the middle line because we're kind of dividing this up. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with these. All right. So I get them back so that they are connected. I trace around them. I make sure that I trace the lines in between. We're having a hard time focusing on this thing. There we go. And then I want to make sure that this one is connected as well when I trace that and I make sure I get that line in between there. All right. So I've already traced all these. And I've got it like so. And I'm just going to see how, there we go. So. What we want to do is we want to think of our original square, which is in this area in here. And we're going to go in with either our pencil or a black colored pencil. And we are going to start to fill all of this in so that it is a nice solid black color. All right? Because your no tan has that balance between the darks and the lights. Like I said on this one, we got a little variation. We are going to. Um, add some color, all right? So I'm going in and I'm going to fill in all of this with black and then we're gonna go from there. So I will be right back. All right, I am finishing up with the black and I got a little bit more to do here but I wanted to show you this next step here. Try to keep it nice and neat. We don't want to lose our shapes, all right? I probably could go in a little bit darker, but I think that's gonna work for right now. So it's kind of like a checkerboard. We're gonna do the opposite. So we, we want all the pieces that came out. So this piece that's connected here has gotten flipped out and it's on this side. And so this is the next one that is going to be black, all right? And I'm going to shade all of this dark. And so it's kind of an every other one on this one because when I was cutting this one, I cut this piece out and so that flipped back in. So then this is going to be the solid piece, all right? And so I'm gonna color all of this black and then I, I, like I said, I cut this out. So now this is hollow. You can see it, I'll show you, all right? So this one was cut out of here. So there's the hollow piece and I flipped it back so that it's on that piece, so the solid piece. So everything that's solid was the solid paper is going to be shaded in with a black pencil or black color pencil to show that it's dark, all right? So I'm gonna work on that and then we will be right back to show you what you're gonna do next. All right, I finished up with filling in all what was the paper so like this one here, if it flipped out, that's gonna be the paper area. So that's where I filled it in. And all of that, I filled in with some dark uh, colored pencil or regular pencil, all right? 
And so now what we want to do is we want to get it to focus. There we go. We want it to uh, work in the open spaces, the negative spaces, and our light areas. So each negative space, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. What you want to do is draw in pencil first a nice design. It can be fairly simple. So for instance, I might go with maybe some stripes in here. Keep it simple. All right. Um, I may go with maybe a zigzag pattern in every other one. Something like that. All right. And then I may either leave that alone or I might go in with some type of circle. To give yourself a nice design. And then I want to do something different for these other spaces. So in each one of these open areas, I am going to have um, a different design going on. A nice pattern would be good. Something that's repeating or pretty close to repeating. And um, I may leave that the way it is. It could be as simple as that. Okay? So we want to do all that in pencil. And then we're going to add color to these. So you can use color pencil like you did for maybe inside of here. Um, you can try marker. You just got to be careful that it doesn't bleed through. Uh, under your paper and we're going to color these in. Just make sure you give each one um, its own unique design so that you have something to color them in and they can be nice and colorful. I'm just kind of drawn away as I go here. Okay? So have fun with that. Um, you know, here's my here's another nice pattern. And like I said, once they get a nice design inside of each one, come up with a good color finish for them. You know, I wouldn't, just because I've done polka dots in here, I would do the background one color and maybe the polka dots a different color or give them each their own color and have a background, you know, maybe have the background blue and then do red, yellow, orange or keep them all so that they're, they're covered up. But don't just color over the top of your nice pattern alternate or do something where we can see those nice colors showing up in your note tan. Okay. Now that we've finished up with our note tan, just make sure you add those colors in. Like I said, if uh, you uh, got a nice one that you're proud of, bring them back in um, or take pictures of them and email them to me. Um, if you're somebody that was sick and you're coming back to class, bring them back to class. I'd love to take pictures of them and put them on social media. But all you remote learners out there that I miss so much, make sure uh, that you're showing me what you've been working on. Okay? Again, don't stress out about this stuff. Get your other schoolwork done. This is just kind of an added bonus just to kind of let the mind uh, wander a little bit and um, work with some space, some shape, and um, just have a good time coming up with some art. Okay? Hey, we'll see you guys next time.